Hi, and welcome at cloudbackuping.com. My name is Mauricio, and in this video, we're going to have a look at what actually happens when your 15-day trial of Backblaze is actually expired. The problem is when the trial expires, you have your data backed up at Backblaze, but you cannot access it anymore, and you cannot back up other data that might be important to you. So, there's no other choice than subscribing to Backblaze, and in this video, we're going to do just that. As I already did in other reviews, that you can actually see that my reviews are legitimate, that I'm actually a paying customer of those services. I actually use Backblaze as a secondary backup provider, so if my primary backup provider failed, I always have a secondary backup to rely on and to draw my data from if there is something important I, I need and if everything fails. So you have the option to subscribe for $5 a month, or you decide to subscribe yourself for two years, you commit yourself for two years, but then only you're going to pay $3.96, which is a very good and competitive price for unlimited backup. And I can really recommend that uh, you strongly consider committing yourself for a longer period because you're going to stay longer for a backup provider anyway. And so you can save a lot of money. And Backblaze is actually... Um, a hassle-free and a well-working provider, so there's absolutely no problem with committing yourself to Backblaze. As I said, I'm a paying customer and uh, I just love Backblaze for its ease of use. So uh, you can obviously order uh, additional licenses which cost a little more and you always see the total amount um, at the bottom of the page. And you can only pay with credit cards, so there's no PayPal payment available, unfortunately. I really like to pay with PayPal, so I'm always a little disappointed if backup companies or any other company doesn't have this option to pay with PayPal because it's so secure and so fast and I don't have to type in my credit card number. After the payment is complete, we're just going to click here on buy to buy the, uh, the monthly subscription. We're going to be forwarded to the... Uh, Thank you page and here we can download again the backblaze client software we already did that we just wanted to charge our account with uh, the necessary funds to be able to back up here uh, our data and now theoretically we should be able to back up our data again unfortunately backblaze does not update the client automatically so we have to click at the bottom right uh, where it says already bought question mark click here um, that our account actually updates. And now we can see the magic. We can see that Backblaze updates uh, our files and uploads our fi files automatically. And in the next video, we're going to have a look at the restore process. So whenever your PC crashes, obviously you need your data and you need your data fast. And that's why we're going to have a look at the velocity and also um, if everything works flawlessly with Backblaze. So stay tuned for the next video, and if you like this video, please vote for it or leave a comment, and if you have a question, I'll be more than glad to help you.